Welcome to a new Airbus Instruments tutorial. In this video you will learn how to install SQL Server Express 2012. First, you have to download the software from Windows official site. Once the download is completed, double click on it to start the installation. First, wait for the file extraction to finish so that the software can be installed properly. This will open the SQL Server Wizard. In the Wizard main page, click on New SQL Server Standalone Installation. And wait for the next screen to load. In the License Terms window, click on the box to accept the license terms and you can also choose to send your information to Microsoft. Then, click Next. In the Product Updates window, Click on the box to automatically install the latest software updates, then click Next. In the next window, wait until the updates are downloaded and when all of the status are completed, click Install. Wait until the wizard loads the next screen. In the Feature Selection window, Click on the boxes as shown in the screen and then click Next. On the next window, you can either choose to keep the default instance name or create a custom one with the name instance option. Once that you are ok with the instance name of your choice, click Next. In the server configuration window, choose a startup type for each service. For database engine, choose automatic. On reporting services in manual, on full text filter in manual, and on server browser in automatic. Click next. In the database window, you can choose if you want to use the Windows authentication method to access directly to the database or in a mixed mode that asks you for a password every time you enter. To access remotely, the most convenient option is mixed mode and create a safe password for your instances. In the reporting services configuration window, click on install and configure and then click next. In the error reporting window, you can either choose to send or not your reports to Microsoft. This will help in future software updates. Then click Next. On the installation progress window, wait until all the components finish to install. It is advised to be patient, as this process can take a long time. Once the installation is finished, click Next. On the complete window, you will see all the installed components. With this, the installation is complete. Click Close. Now we can close all the wizard windows. In the search bar, type and find SQL Server Management Studio. Also, access to DE5MX. On SQL Server, first confirm that in server name appears the instance that was set at the moment of installation. Then, choose the SQL Server Authentication option. In Login, maintain the SA and in Password, type the one that you wrote on the wizard. Click Connect. Now, you have access to your instance. Here you can add new databases that you can link to DG5MX. For this example, let's create the Boiler Room database. To link the database to DG5MX, access to the database tab. With the connect button, choose SQL option. Press localhost. In the next window in IP, write the full name of your instance the one that appears when you open the SQL Server Management. In Database, write the name of the database you want to access. 
in this example is the boiler room. Type your credentials, user and password. Type again the database name so the e MX can recognize it. And it's done! Now you can start using your database to add your machine tree. We hope that this video has been helpful to you. For more information and tutorials, visit herbestinstruments.com.